What's up people, JP here again, doing another update of this 10 gallon reef tank. Now this tank has been going on 13 months now and everything has been doing good. This month is probably the craziest because I overfed algae outbreak and then my alkalinity and calcium has been kinda out of whack but not too bad, it's just my dosing has not been keeping up with the coral growth and the coral demand so that's one thing you can watch so first uh, problem the algae outbreak now it is just like a slime algae because of that uh, I have fed uh, this LPS grow uh, coral food and I overfed twice and that's one of the main culprit so you definitely don't want to overfeed your corals even though you think they will grow faster because you have food the bad side is you will have bad water if you don't change the water or have good GFO filter alright next thing is uh, my alkalinity and calcium catching up on me I have to increase my dosage now twice in the past month and now I'm dosing about 12 ml of calcium and alkalinity and as you can see everything is just growing crazy especially my digitata I accidentally broke it but I actually have a little frag back here you can see there's the Monty cap in the back because it was touching the glass fragged it I've made a little egg crate frag rack you can't really see it in the front so that's a good thing if we look under just a little bit so that's one thing my let's see my zoas my pallies has, are extending and spreading so Frag. good some of my AOG or armor of God zo uh, pally my gold torch, a gold torch, gold hammer, sorry about that, are ex basically extending very good. It's liking the flow, stronger flow, stronger circulation, corals loving it. I think this is like a medium flow, I think. Working so good. Uh, another thing is uh, my clown fish are hosting this torch coral and because of that uh, my female clownfish are getting some injury I don't know why uh, past week he she got a cloudy eye and it just recovered itself a month before that he got a she got a very bad scrape or injury on the side I can see kind of see it scar but it basically healed itself I thought she was gonna die but she's good as long as you keep your water clean and parasite free or disease free they will recover itself all right next thing is I am dosing Cora colors a B C and D before I have been dosing four drops each now I'm dosing five drops and see if it will accommodate for the coral Next thing is, I am dosing Reef Energy, A and B. I am dosing only 0.8 ml. And this is a 1 ml pipette and the black mark is the 0.8. Now one trick for this is uh, you want your nutrients somewhat low. But what you can figure out is about your algae. If you have a lot of algae, you, then you don't want to dose this because this will just feed your algae and you will have a crazy algae outbreak that's my experience next thing is I have kept some logs as you can see right here I have my alkalinity 8.2 and went to 8 and 8.4 as you can see just add some alkalinity and calcium and what you can find out over test if you test over time you find out how much it will increase you can see I I added 30 ml increased by 3 1 3 10 so 
It's all good, the same, same thing. In my tank, <clears throat> 10 ml of ESV magnesium. Basically, we raise my magnesium by 10, 10 ppm. And my BRS, alkalinity and calcium, basically 1 ml of alkalinity will raise it by 0 0.1 dKH. So, that's that should wrap it up, guys. Thanks for watching and happy reefing. Thanks for all the subscribers and comments and likes. Thank you, guys. And happy reefing. <laughs>